Welcome, lovely person. Thank you for tuning in to episode 4 of Art Play Relay. I'm Iris from iris-impressions.com. I'm so glad you are watching either again or for the first time uh, to follow this project. Last month, Yuna from Yuna Biagioni Arts um, and I both started a painting and this month we are going to be finishing each other's painting. So I've sent my painting to Yuna, she sent her painting to me and without further ado let's unwrap the painting. There we go. It is so bright and colourful and just I love this colour. I can't wait to, um, there's this nice little card on there saying here it is, have fun with it, um, which I definitely will. I am, oh I have to admit I am a little bit intimidated even though this is the second time we're finishing each other's painting it's still, it's, it's quite a big thing to start painting on somebody else's work um, and on the one hand I'm, I'm fairly confident about you know adding my own thing to it but on the other hand I just you know this is something of Yuna's that she's made that I'm now going to do something with so that's a little bit intimidating um, so I'm going to take a little bit of time and think about this and think about the quote um, about like your last day and thinking about that so I'm going to have a little ponder about that and um, and you will see the result Hope you enjoy! First I turned Yuna's painting around and I wanted to add some fluorescence because they really feel like my kind of thing and this sun shape, the round and round and round with the paint that's been coming up for me often so I added that then I was contemplating the quote and it made me think of the child inside and nurturing the child inside on your last day and I was looking for washi tape that felt quite childlike so that's what I'm applying here I then wanted to represent that inner child and I sketched a um, childlike, a very round childlike face with a white stabilo all pencil just pondering that quote you know live like it's your last day what does that mean to me it's about feeling your feelings it's about being with your kids I mean I have kids and nurturing that kid inside yourself and kind of coming back to that and it's a day for strong emotions and energy and I think that's what that Sun at the top represents that's why I wanted it at the top and not at the bottom here I'm shading the face with a brown stabilo or pencil and I'm not activating this pencil here I am instead of doing a neck I'm kind of doing roots down to the ground because I think this quote obviously reminds me of dying and dying reminds me of kind of going back to the ground and roots and having this connection with the ground um, I'm using several different Stabilo all pencils, um, and again, I'm not activating any of them, so I get quite quite um, a kind of pencily look. And here I used a Prismacolor for the um, for the cheeks and giving that a really nice childlike glow. I'm using the black to um, to reinforce the sketch lines. Using a, um, a gel pen for the details in the eyes and then later on I use a, a black paint pen for the pupils and a white paint pen for the um, for the highlights and it's I'm giving this a real kind of ethereal quality by just using the unactivated pencil you really see the blue background through it and it's almost as if you know she's there but she's not there she's already partly gone um, that's kind of you know it, maybe it felt a little bit sad thinking about this quote I 
I decided I didn't like the washi tape, I felt it wasn't in keeping with the style of the rest of the painting, so I took it off and reinforced the roots. And I'm just trying to kind of give you an insight into my thinking process, how I approached this intuitively. I didn't know beforehand what I was going to do. And then because I did the child, it made me think of the different generations of, you know, like the child, the parent and the grandparent. And so that's what I started um, representing here, the different faces. And I used similar techniques for building up the, um, the face and the shading or with stabilo or pencils. I think family at, at any time, not just at difficult times, but at any time, family is so important and having that connection with the different generations, you know, as much as we might hate them sometimes, <laughs> um, you know, um, moan about my kids, moan about my parents, that kind of thing, but, you know, um, the, this, is, um, this is important, it's very meaningful. And that's what I wanted to represent in this painting, or drawing, painting, mixed media piece. And so I built up the shading on the two other faces in a similar way. Here I've got some Dilutions spray paint, uh, spray ink uh, with a little bit of water and I'm dripping it down the page as a kind of, um, to, to, to show the kind of sadness that is inherent in this quote, uh, you know, the, the tears. The sun is a very kind of rebirth type of symbol but these drips are the tears of the sadness that is also um, present in this kind of situation. Now I'm just letting them drip down the page. And then as a final step I added these three symbols, the crown for like the wise the wise grandparent. Um, I chose the star for the child, like a kind of like a star as a very kind of new thing, and then the sun for the middle. <laughs> 